Hey everyone, it's Logan here, and it may not look like much, but this is my pinball machine. So obviously it's only cardboard now, I will be making it out of wood, trust me, I've got all plans for this here. But I wanted to make a pinball machine that was almost like you'd see back in the 70s, not the new electronic ones. I do have a plan to make something like that using an Arduino, uh, it's going to be much more digital where a lot of this is going to be eliminated. Uh, but I wanted to make something more mechanical. Now, it's not quite like full E 60s and 70s because I've got some modern, you know, relay boards in here and micro switches and latching boards and power supplies and stuff they maybe didn't have back then. But I wanted to give it a very mechanical feel. So this is going to be the first video in a series of videos where I actually explore all these circuits as I'm building them and show you how I'm doing them. Won't necessarily be the only way to do them. But for right now, I figured I would show you how it's progressing here. So first things first, we're gonna uh, turn this on here. Ah, there we go. So now we've got all kinds of lights that have come on. Up there, that's where the points are. So first things first, we've got our flippers and we, we hit a flipper, Ah, we get a little light. So obviously we don't have flippers yet, but we are going to have flippers. And we got another flipper there and another flipper kind of underneath here. So when we hit this, there we go, we get these. And this one, there we go, we get another one there. And then we're gonna have bumpers, right? But I don't have the bumpers made yet. That's coming soon. But those are the things that when the ball hits it, they slam down and force the ball out. So if you trigger one of these, like so, there you go, white is one point. So every time I trigger that, we're gonna get a point. And there are seven of these in two different groups. So if I trigger one of the groups here, now this is obviously an on-off switch, an actual toggle switch. Uh, it's not going to be a toggle switch finally. There's going to be just a, a push right here. But for now, this is what I have. So when I trigger this, ah, you get 500 points. But also, these lights come on. Turn this off. So 500 points went off, but now these are specials. So now, every time I trigger this... Uh, you are going to get 10 points. Nope, sorry, wrong one. This one's the other one. Ah, there you go, second group. Now when we trigger this one, if I can get that together, there we go, now we got 10 points. And they work in two different groups, so I can have one on and one off. So if I do that, come back on here, there we go. So now I can trigger one of them, and put these together. There you go, 10 points. And then I can trigger, say, a different set of them right here. There we go, one point there. Now, what else do I have? I've also got lives. So right now we're on the first life. So as you shoot the ball up and it comes around, it's gonna come over. And these are the wrong type of switches. I get the right ones coming. But for now, this is what I got. So you trigger this one, all right, so now you're on your second ball. Now you trigger this, you're on your third ball, and now you trigger this one, and game's over. And now the flippers no longer work. But you can hit your reset. Ah, now the flippers work again. <laughs> and so right now I'm also working on a number of other things, um, like, uh, oh yes, for instance, these channels right here when the ball goes down there, they're going to trigger a thousand points. There you go. But then you also see the light went out. And now every time I trigger it after that, we get 10 points. And right now I'm working on the ball return. So what's going to happen is, I'm sorry, not ball return, ball capture. So what's going to happen is it's going to come in here and normally it's just going to kick it out. There's going to be a kicker right here that pushes it out. But if you hit this, it's going to lock it in there. So next time the ball comes in here, it's gonna stay there and then release the second ball. And then eventually you'll trigger something else that I haven't figured out yet, and that will kick that back out. And then you've got multi-ball. So anyway, I figured this has been pretty fun for me lately. And uh, I, I'm really looking forward to finishing this and, and making it much more complete. Obviously I'm worried a little bit about the points system, but uh, I'll get there. Anyway, thanks for checking this video out, and there's more to come. Thanks for watching.